Hello everyone, welcome back to Technology Moments. This is Alan, so 5 gigabit per second networks. Let me show you very quickly through this short video what to expect from this adapter and what you might need if you want these speeds for your network. This is an Ethernet adapter from Wavlink, runs at 5 gigabit per second and connects to your computer through a Type-C port. And as you may already know, these ports are capable of handling up to 10 gigabit per second easily. Yes, and you heard it right, 5 gigabit per second, technically known as 5G base T. You're gonna need a specific hardware for you to implement higher speed networks, but it's very simple, nothing special. Let me show you. For this specific workshop, we use the following hardware, one computer running a fairly recent hardware as a server with a 10 gigabit per second ethernet adapter. Connected this adapter to my laptop. This is a Core i7 12th generation with a single internal NVMe. Single drive, which is not the best scenario for these tests, but we'll see how it works. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need to have. This is using a QNAP 10 gigabit per second and 2.5 gigabit per second switch. Switch that you may have watched in our recent review, which is an excellent choice for smaller but fast networks. Important here, just changing the adapter won't do the work. You need a switch or router featuring 10 gigabit per second. Why a 10 gigabit per second switch? Well, there is no 5 gigabit per second switch. Out of negotiation of this adapter worked flawlessly at 1, 2.5 and 5 gigabit per second. So this is what your network should look like if you want to take advantage of a 5 gigabit per second adapter. Okay, so we made our tests and we transferred from one to another computer. We also run speed test servers on both machines to see how they behave. We run a few tests and they were so variable that we better went for a real life example, a file transfer comparison. A huge 32 gigabyte file transferred uh, using a one gigabit ethernet network, which took over five minutes. Then we stepped up and went for 2.5 gigabit per second with this adapter. This is what you should expect transferring the same file with a 2.5 gigabit per second network. It took just over two minutes and 15 seconds. And finally, what we are here for, this is what we got when it transferred the same 32 gigabyte file in exactly one minute and 15 seconds. Pretty good for a Type-C adapter and performance improvement speaks for itself. Maybe the most important aspect to consider this specific type of networks of 5 gigabit per second is that a certified category 5E cable will suffice, which means that upgrading your switches and your adapters without touching the cable layout may be a very attractive alternative for most, boosting like that the performance of your entire network. We run our tests at 5, 30, and 100 meter links. Certified CAT 5E copper cable, by the way, at 100 meter we saw a little degradation in real transfer speed. Nothing critical, still very fast. By the way, stay away from CCA cable. Okay guys, thanks for watching, hope this video was as informative as it was intended. See you next time.